Indiana has some of the harshest marijuana laws in the Midwest. Currently, there are no circumstances under Indiana law in which possession of marijuana is not a criminal offense. Indiana does not recognize other states' medical marijuana licenses, and Indiana also doesn't care if your home state treats possession of marijuana as a non-criminal offense. In Indiana, possession of marijuana starts as a Class A misdemeanor, punishable by up to one year in jail and up to $5,000 in fines. If you're found to be in possession of 30 or more grams of marijuana, you may be charged with a Class D felony, which carries a potential prison term of six months to three years and up to $10,000 in fines. Additionally, if you've ever been convicted of possession of marijuana at any time in your past, any subsequent charge in the state of Indiana will be charged as a Class D felony. The potential penalties involved in being convicted of a marijuana offense extend beyond just the threat of jail time. Certain federal scholarships and grants will terminate your enrollment if convicted of a marijuana offense and can immediately require that you start repaying any money already given to you. Additionally, if you're in a car at the time that you're arrested, even if you're not the driver of the car, your license and the registration for any vehicle that you own may be suspended for six months or more. Being charged with the possession of marijuana offense in Indiana is a very serious matter, but it's not a hopeless matter. Hard work by your attorneys can go a long way towards minimizing or even outright eliminating some of those penalties. If you or somebody that you care about has been charged with the possession of marijuana crime in Indiana, contact me immediately at 317-989-1129 and we can begin discussing how best to minimize this offense.